coming to you from Florida. Well, I've been in Florida now for several days and it's really a great state. I love Florida. I love all that it has to offer, uh, specifically surrounding its climate. Its temperature, uh, especially in the winter, is just it's a great thing if you love outdoor activities and if you love if you love the outdoors, period. Um, that being said, the reason for this video, I'm going to make a few videos about the nomadic lifestyle in relation to Florida because that's why I've come. I've come for several different scouting reasons to look at possible home bases um, and, and we'll get into that. I have dividing thoughts on that. But my first video I want to make regarding the nomad life in Florida is from what I've seen, there is a higher than normal uh, percentage of people living out of their cars and specifically van dwellers. I have seen a lot of van dwellers in my travels in Florida. Now, two things. One is, I think the obvious reason is because of the outdoor climate. Because you have a temperature of all year round suitable living, you're going to have a higher level of population of people who want to live a simplistic uh, life and without a huge shelter because they want to spend a lot of their time outdoors. So van dwelling is very appealing to somebody who has that mindset. Now I've traveled pretty much the entire East coast of the United States of America and Florida by far has the most visible van dwellers that I've experienced. Now I haven't traveled the West coast, but in my conversations and research, California also has a lot of van dwellers and RVers because of that same reason, climate. When you have that all year round suitable uh, climate uh, temperature, then you're going to have that appeal to people who want to live a simplistic life. Now, what I will say is that is in context, that's still a very small percentage of society. So, you know, in uh, the United States of America, in, in the United States of America, there's over 300 million uh, people, anywhere from 320 to 350 million people that live uh, in America. So, you know, as far as population, we're still talking about less than 1% of society. So it's not this grand thing, but it's noticeable to me uh, that it's still a higher percentage in Florida. So in New York, New Jersey, van dwellers may be 0.01%. In Florida, maybe 0.03% of society that live full-time out of their vans. So still a very small percentage. And it's more noticeable to me now because I've lived full-time out of my car uh, for a year. And when I go into a parking lot, I am now more aware when I look at cars, if they have a setup for full-time living. You know, if they have, you know, the reflectors, if they have, you know... You know, they, if they just have the setup and I wasn't aware of that years ago, because, you know, you told me years ago, five, 10 years ago about living out of a car I would have looked at you like you're crazy. So I understand, you know what I mean? Well, I just, just want to say that my mindset is now more aware to, you know, a, a, a van or a car set up for full-time living. Now the challenge around that is because, you know, because there is a higher than normal population of people living out of their vans or RVs, there's also a level of controlled uh, environment where, like example, I went to Walmart last night to get something to eat and there were signs plastered everywhere. No overnight parking. Parking, overnight parking to do it legally and properly is harder to find than it is in other states because, you know, cities and uh, the municipalities try to control where you park so they don't create an unhealthy environment. And, um, so you got to be mindful that that's a challenge, you know, then you're going to be subject to then, you know, have to stay at campgrounds. You have to go to, you know, rest stops. You have to go to, you know what I mean? If you have a family member's house, a friend's house, you're going to have to stay in there on their property because, you know, again, you want to do things legally and properly. You know, you don't want to have problems with the law and you want to be a positive and productive citizen. You want to live a peaceful life. So, you know, I want to document that there are a lot of van dwellers in Florida that I've seen, again, still in very small relation to overall society, and it's because of the climate. Uh, but anytime when you have a lot of something, then you're also going to have a counterbalance where society tries to control that that doesn't get too out of control, too out of hand. So just be mindful of that in your movement. Again, the nomadic life is all about being aware, to do it properly, to do it well. Be aware of your surroundings, keep it moving, and just know that each state have the, has the ins and outs on how you need to move to do it safely, properly, and legally. But uh, it's just amazing. Um, now, you will notice that you know that it gets hot during the day, yes, 
but at night it cools down and if you're by the ocean it's even cooler you get the ocean breeze and that's why also you're going to notice a lot of van dwellers by ocean parks uh uh so you know be mindful of that as well um and they also have all uh signs on them that says no overnight parking so i wanted to share that with you uh, i'm going to share several videos about the nomadic life uh in florida and what i've uh what I'm doing here and why I want to enjoy it here, et cetera, et cetera. All right, stay inspired.